Okay, wait, so I can... <laughs> Just fire my, my gun wherever. Yar, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Pirate. I'm your host, Captain Ripped Rick, and hopefully you guys liked my new intro. Today, we actually do have a plan, but I want to cover a few things that were uh, asked in the last episode, one of them being, what is up with all the signs on the wall? Uh, well, if you guys don't know, uh, it's usually just easier to write everything down, like I'll mention in an episode, oh, we need to do this, and then I'll completely forget about it. So what I do is I write it down now, um, so that we can get things done uh obviously you can read them if if you pause it right now um but yeah i won't waste your guys time by reading every single one but today we are going to work on a new expansion that allows us to automate our spinning wheel it is a new thing that codemaster just added to the mod and i would love to show it off now what we need is some paper first of all so let's go ahead and let's check our chests first and then if not we'll check our sugarcane farm outside i think we have out to the left of the house uh yeah it doesn't look like we have any in here. Oh, wait. We got to check up on our beef. Remember, we put this up last time. Let's see. Is this done? Does this mean it's done? Do I break it off? No, I'm not going to break it off. Oh, what is this? Monster jerky. Wait, so I can... <laughs> Just fire my my gun wherever. So I think I can eat this now, correct? Is that Does that mean it's okay to eat? Hmm. We'll put this other stuff up and we'll let that hang for longer and see if it turns into leather. That sound fair? Good. Let's go ahead and go outside now, now that I shot a gun just randomly. Oh, yeah. So we do have a sugarcane farm, just like I thought. So let's go ahead and break this down really quick. Catch all the sugarcane. Catch, catch, catch. Awesome. So now with the sugarcane, we're going to make a paper. This paper we are going to use for something very cool, but I don't really want to say right now. There is a, a few more things that I would like to craft or at least look for in our chests before we go out and look for the thing we're looking for nope okay so we need to look for like a fence that's what we're looking for does not look like we have any fence do we have any wood how is it that we always run low on wood how it's like it's like a magic trick okay so remember this is the old crafting recipes because we're in 1.7 still so we'll go ahead and grab all these and then we just make the fence like that because in 1.8 it's a different recipe if you guys didn't know there we go 34 fence should do now here's what's going to happen we're going to wait for night time where then we're going to go ahead and sleep and then we're going to go on an adventure we are going to look for a mouse now mice are a new mob that are added by codemasters pirates they can be tamed like wolves using pieces of paper uh, hold on let me let me go ahead and sleep now mice flee from uh from players so what the deal is, is we're going to set up a huge perimeter and then we're going to start closing it off with fence so that it can't it can't scurry away from us now having mice is cool right but wild mice will go towards your crops so i don't know if it, it probably doesn't cross with the flax mod but if if we were out here it could be eating our crops right now um but i think i know where one is i don't know for sure um and just so you guys know there is no um I, or at least i don't know of a way to spawn mice because uh, I don't think there is a way to um, place a spawn egg or, or else when I was testing to see if this would work, I couldn't find a spawn egg, so I had to fly around and find one. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to tell you guys, uh, it was explained to me by code that the the four different things are like things like the anemone and stuff. Let's go ahead and see if we have fish. Oh, we have one. We have one raw fish. Sweet. Ow, ow. Oh, that thing was hurting me. I was like, what is that? Okay, another raw fish and another raw fish. Awesome. And this one's supposed to give us clownfish, I believe. So let's go. I hope I hope that works. That's pretty cool, though. At least we have some fish now. So, yeah, that's that's going to be our food source for a while. We're going to live off of, of fish like a pirate would. I, do pirates fish for food? I, you would assume so, right? So when I saw a mouse earlier, um, in an earlier instance, it was over here. Now, I don't want to spook it. We'll just keep our eye out for one. Come on, where are you, buddy? Hello? He was like chilling out around out here. Or at least I thought he was. I don't see a little guy scurrying around anymore, though. Okay, so I'm gonna keep walking around, you guys, and then once if I run into one, we will uh, we'll do our thing and try to pick it up. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. Oh, never mind. Oh, there, there's one. You see him on the shore over there? There's two. Oh, oh, there's one down there. And there's one up there. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen, right? We are going to start by placing fences up up here like around there like that over them and we're gonna finish off by coming up the shore spooking them up the shore and then placing fences lower 
This kind of stinks that we have to do it like this, but remember they're afraid of people. So hopefully, hopefully they don't have a huge radius of detecting people. Oh, they moved up. They moved up. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. We're going to sneak on up, right? We're, we're moving on in a little bit. Where are they going? Okay, and we're just going to we're going to go ahead and place some fences like like this. We're just going to keep on moving them up. And so hopefully even if they are running from us right now, we can push them back this way into this fence. And they don't have anywhere to go around it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and... No, no cactus. Cactus is bad. Oop. It's okay, it's okay. This is why we brought a lot of fence. Oh, wait, we didn't bring that much fence. Holy crap. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can't sneak up on these guys. Where are they? They're right there. They're there. I already placed all my fence, though. Okay, so it says if you can track, if you can run one down. So let's try to run one down. They are fast. They are fast. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him. Okay, so now when you right click, they become more gradient like that. And that means they won't follow. But if you do it, they should follow, right? You should be following me right now, right? There we go. Now he's following us. Okay, so let's go ahead and head home. Now, I d oh, we should probably get rid of those that fence, too. Uh, but we can't, I can't believe we got one. Okay, he's going to follow us. Like I said, we're going to head home. Oh, we should pick this up. Do I? Oh, I don't have a... No! Bad cactus. You okay, pal? We need a name for him. Uh, I think we're going to name him, like... Uh, I don't know. Let's go with Skeevy. Let's go with Skeevy. I like Skeevy. Skeevy's a nice pirate name. Let's go Skeevy. It's like Stevie, but Skeevy. Come on, buddy. There we go. Come on. Nice. They're fast, too. That's crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's so cool. So, yeah, these are mice. Like I said, they, they are tamed by right-clicking them with paper. Like a wolf, and like I said, um, if where are you going? Okay, so if you right-click him again, you'll see how he has like the more dots on him. That means he's gonna stay where he is. He won't follow. Right-click again, boom, he's follow. He's in follow mode. Come on, takes him a little bit to catch up though. It's okay. Nice, and we let him right around the water, so that's pretty good. Now, come on, buddy. How are you the stairs? You good? Good. Come on, let's go in the house. So, Skeevy, this is our pirate base. Come on, buddy. Where are you? There you are. This is our pirate base for now, and what we're going to do is we're just going to come on over here. Come on. Come on, pal. Skeevy. Skeevy, come. Yar. He is ridiculous. Okay. I'm gonna push him. Push. 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 Skeevy, I need you up. I... We'll keep you here for now, Skeevy. You make me mad. Okay, so now we need to do the next part of this. <laughs> and uh, we need two pieces of this. Um, we have slag iron in there, but we don't need slag iron. We need regular iron. Do we have any more in the valuables chest? No, we don't. Let's go ahead and go downstairs and grab some. See, that's right back into that jerky, but I don't know if we leave it on longer, if it'll change into the next, um, next thing. Okay, so we need to put some more iron in there, I guess. Let's go ahead and get rid of the gravel. That was a weird noise. Let's go ahead and get rid of the gravel. Um, we're not going to fill this all the way up with this because... Oh, I did it anyway. Come on back. Come on. Come on back. There we go. We'll just do, like, what, nine? And then we'll do three of these guys. Because we don't want to burn up all of our lava in there right now because we don't have a, a way to get lava very easily right now. So yeah, we'll let that cook, and then once that cooks, we are going to have enough uh, iron to do what we need to do. Oh, while we wait, we can actually go in here, and boom, and let's go ahead and collect all this stuff. Remember, we do this every once in a while, or uh, just about every episode right about right now, but uh, just so when we need the experience and stuff, we'll have it, and if we ever need any of these other orberry bushes stuff, we'll have it. Boom. Okay, let's go ahead and put these away. Look at that. Look at that. It looks so nice. Okay. So, let's go ahead and check on this. Uh, just about done. Awesome. So, yeah, I plan on doing some Ticket Construct stuff, you guys, if you don't know. But look at Steve. Look at Skeevy. Sorry, I'm going to keep saying Stevie on accident. Look at Skeevy. What are you doing? You better not be playing with stuff that's not yours, buddy. You stay a good boy. 
So now what we're building for Skeevy is obviously he's he's a little he's a little guy and he likes to play and stuff. So we're gonna build him a mouse wheel. Now now we have the molten ingots done. Let's go ahead and just pour it into the big bucket because then we can just break it down into uh, whatever we need. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna make him a, a nice play area with a nice mouse wheel. I think that'd be very nice of him or for of us, you know, because Skeevy is the. Uh, do I keep saying Skeevy or Stevie? It's driving me crazy now that I think about it. Skeevy. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think that that he he deserves it because we we're gonna have him do a little bit of work for us as well. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and break this down. And what we need to make is we need to make iron bars like this, and then we need to take the iron bars and do corners and the middle and then we need to take iron bars put them on either side and then the iron plates and put a top and bottom and we get our rat wheel skeevy the rat ha okay now with the rat wheel um i don't know if it'll be easier to like try to place it under him or what but i kind of want to put it like right here so let's go ahead and get rid of this block even though water's going to come out no big deal there we go yeah there you go skeevy oh look at him shake off he's so cute come on Come on, Skeevy. Come on, bud. C come on, bud. It'd be cool if you could pick him up. Oh, there you go. Come on. Okay, now come on, bud. What if I what if I open this up and like pretend like I'm walking away? Just a little bit. Skeevy. No. Skeevy. What are you doing? Oh wait, wait, maybe you need steps. What if we make him like little steps up? Uh, I probably shouldn't use the sandstone that I just broke. Uh, we have a ton of smooth stone on us, though, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, where are you going, Skeevy? Where are you going? Let's go. Come on. Skeevy, we're going this way, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Come on, pal. We're go I'm going this way now. I'm going this way without you. Hello? Hello? Okay, so I think we can, if we right-click Skeevy, and we can push him up the stairs. Let's see if we can do that. Skeevy, you need to go up the stairs, pal. There we go. Now, Skeevy's on that. Let's see if that's running with us walking away. Ooh, look how far away we are, and it's running. See, and that automates the process. So, Skeevy will run on top of the rat wheel, and it will automate our uh, rope making. Isn't that pretty cool? So now we're gonna we're gonna obviously have to build Skeevy a little bit of a better road play area because I feel a little bit bad. But for right now, I think Skeevy's gonna be happy. He's got his water supply here. Um, we'll just go ahead and uh, go pick up that fence and we'll build him an area with that fence. So I'll be right back after I sleep and um, and do that for him. Oh, okay, on our way back, I also wanted to check the the fish pots and see if we got anything again. Ooh, we got a ton more fish. Holy crap. Oh, see, I don't know I don't know how we get the different kinds of fish. I'm still working on it. But I think maybe we just need more of those around it. So we got to go go out and find those eventually. But I mean, look how many fish just in that amount of time that we got. So that's really awesome. That's going to that's going to be like such a reliable food source for us for such a long time. Um, let's go ahead and throw these actually in the furnace right now and I'll get back to Oh, we have tons of baked potatoes currently. Uh, and I'll go ahead and get back to um to making Skeevy his his pen. Okay, I don't know if you saw that, but when I was building something, oh, we've hit gold, you guys! Oh, so cool! Is there any more? Oh, there is! Whoa! We hit patches of gold, you guys. That is so cool! Oh, I wonder if code, if, if that's a code thing or what. I'm just going to keep doing it. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's any more. But that was really cool. We sifted for gold. I can't believe we found some. Okay, I'll get back to what I was doing. All right, and I'm just about done with Skeevy's uh, little house area that I've built. We're just going to put icing on the cake here and give him a hay bale. Now, in, I know he eats paper, but he needs a place to sleep as well. So why don't we go ahead and... Get rid of this block here and put that there. Right, let's go get that piece of sandstone that we had under. I don't know what that's going to look like under, but it, oh, it's not a big deal. Okay, so it's just a little little piece of hay. Let's not worry about it. Uh, if he wants to leave, he can, I guess. But here's his little, his little area. Now, we should probably add a gate, to be honest. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right away. 
but I want to show it to you guys real quick because I, I did put a little bit of thought into it for him. He obviously is our only friend right now, even though we are ruthless pirates. Uh, you still got to have people in your corner, and who better to trust than an animal that is depending on you to feed it. Um, <laughs> uh, here we go. So here, basically, all I've done is I, he's got a little bed. He's got, obviously, his water, his running wheel now. And I know you think he's going to leave that way. He won't leave that way. He's, he's pretty well trained. Um, but, yeah, and then he's got this where he can, here he can step on this. And it drops a piece of paper for him so he can eat. Isn't that pretty awesome? So I built that for him. Uh, now he's got a nice place to hang out. And look, see you guys? The spinning wheel is all done doing its work for now. I think that is so awesome that there's a way to automate it. We don't have to stand next to it now. And we have a ton of rope to work with for next episode. Well... Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please remember to hit that like button. Uh, if you like skeevy, remember to hit that like button. Uh, if you're new to the channel, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and maybe catch up on some old episodes. Um, that'd be very cool. And I guess we're going to wait till next episode of Harvest That to see if it actually turns into the leather that I would like it to turn into. But we'll, we'll see how that works out. Thank you once again for watching, and I'll see you guys later.